Hi all. Uh, in this video cast, uh, I'll talk about uh, handling the form actions and navigations in JSF2 based applications. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate how easily we can handle the form action and and, and handle navigation in JSF2 based applications. Uh, the navigation part uh, of any JSF based application prior to JSF2.0, uh, they, they need a lo lot of configuration level things in faces configure.xml. Uh, you have to configure a lot of things in faces config.xml like from uh, view id to view id then the form uh, action outcome uh, so since uh, we uh, the, the main target of jsf2 is eliminating the dependency of faces config xml uh, so how do we achieve that uh, through annotations or normal uh, simple way simpler way uh, so to demonstrate that uh, i'll use my same old example what i have used in my previous video I'll add a form component over here. So, yeah, ideal just gives a form, and let me add a few columns. Book text. Uh, so I'll enter something over here. This is the uh, level output, HTML level uh, for ID LG. This works like a HTML level component. Now, Now, um, let's say I have here one thing we need to have value. Value will give it later on. Uh, okay. Now we'll switch back to my uh, manage bin. So, here I need to create an action over here, say public string. Action and just say return welcome. Let's say your uh, okay, welcome. And here, since I have used the input text, I have to have a uh, field over in my uh, bin so that I can bind uh, the text field to my. Uh, Field in my grid bin in my uh, JSF and bin. Uh, so like let's say, action and have the and have the getting setters. So we are done. Now, now what I have to do? So here in value, what I'll do? So same. My different expression language, then so by this, my JSF uh, the fresh servlet will bind this input text field to this particular string. Okay, now the next import, important thing h colon command command button. Yeah, action is similarly we need to, we have to use uh, the default expression language. Uh, then let's copy the method name. Sorry, invoke action. Now this is a pretty simple uh, if, uh, if form component of uh, whatever I have created. Uh, 
with a form tag then i have used a output level whatever i have used in my previous video also then output level for, for, for uh, 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 i need to enter something in my um, target area uh, sorry in my input text then i have i did a binding of my input text with uh, my jsf minus bin field uh, then i am just i have used a command button to invoke that action uh, now how do we handle navigation the moment you click on the uh, action it will go here now how do i invoke uh, this action uh, so in in jsf they have made pretty simple then the navigation is made pretty simple uh, we don't have to configure anything in fresh config xml so uh, whatever you written in, in the corresponding action the, the written type should be a string and whatever you have written it will just append to append a dot xhtml and we just return it say example uh, i am returning welcome so it will just go to it will search for a file in the web content folder called welcome dot xhtml okay automatically it does that so we have to give according to our requirement we have to give the file name so for our page we have to create a page called xhtml i have to create a xhtml page name the uh, welcome so you just you delete this i'll just say output text and just uh, or output level now to see uh, whether the whatever we have entered in my uh, text for process is coming or not so we'll just print this So this is done. Uh, so just I need to. Okay, my application is deployed. Now let's refresh this. So I need to restart my server once. You see. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I did a mistake here. I didn't give any. Button name. So okay. Uh, now you can see this is the top. Uh, uh, this is from uh, this output level. Now I have given this output level as again enter the target. This is what is coming, and uh, this is my text box. So the moment I'll just start it here. Say example, I'll just say honey. Then what I'll do? I'll just click check. So so you can see it goes to uh, this welcome dot xhtml page directly. So it comes here. Sorry, I did a mistake here again. So I have written it over here. One minute. Let it be deployed. Okay, it's deployed now. We verify it again. Okay, now say Apni. Now the moment I check, you can see uh, the target action method. Uh, sorry, the okay. okay. 
say I give up any and you can check so you can see the grid in book action is called and uh, uh, the property whatever I have set has come here so the binding is successful like uh, whatever I have given it here that I can put the text uh, field um, I am able to get it up in my minus bin and since I, as I told you uh, the written type should be a, a valid name and we, we, sh we should have a XHTML page by that name uh, so automatically our faces server will forward the request to the welcome XHTML page so if you see this is what we get we, we get from the XHTML pages so this is a uh, simplest example of having a form in, in our page and uh, and where we have also demonstrated uh, simplest way of uh, having a navigation in my uh, JSON management even if if you want to have a conditional check uh, according to the target action you can have multiple XML pages and according to the target action you can check it here and uh, uh, return the corresponding file name or the XML page name uh, so that that way we can even if uh, more easily uh, achieve the navigation in JSO based applications. Uh, 